One of the governor's henchmen points a gun at Rick. So that's it then. You're going to feed us to your pet zombies? That where you deal with the people in the helicopters? Yeah, that couple's getting chopped up right now in preparations for the ward feast. They'll be go down after the fire. Should be all gone by the time the sun comes up. That is unless one of our fighters gets too close to the virus. And they're full after the fire. Which sadly does happen from time to time. We we'll never admit it, but that's why the people show up. That's why they love it so much. You sick fuck! Kinda shut the fuck up, sister. It might be difficult with you you, you are two armored escorts, but I'm certainly could get a couple bullets in you with no trouble at all. In fact, can we just get something out of the way, please? I think I'll make things a little at least, at least a tad less tense. Can we just all come to the understanding that we've got all the guns, and if you struggle or try to leave out the room, my guards will kill you where you stand. And just acknowledge that, you realize that. I don't care whether you live or die, don't misunderstand me. I just don't want you to get accidentally shot while I'm trying to talk. I hate getting interrupted. You got us over a barrel, you want to talk, talk, just get it over with. I agree, I don't want to miss the fire, so let's do this. Your friend in the helicopter. I didn't want anything from, from them. They didn't have anything I could use, or rather, anything I can, could get to. The woman survived the crash, told us everything we wanted to hear, provided we asked in a not so nice way. They were holed up at some news station in Atlanta Channel, not or whatever, the one with that asshole weatherman, her, and the rest of the people. That worked there, including the traffic helicopter pilot who died in the crash. Lucky devil lived there together. They were about 20 of them, she said. They turned on each other, ran out of food, something, started killing each other. A lady in the pilot got out, but some sick fuck sabotaged the helicopter's engine. Seems he wanted to make sure that no way left without him. There's a lesson there. You gotta keep people occupied or they turn on you. Reading your roof, reading fucking... But only keeping people busy for so long. Eventually, there's gotta be something else. It's a little sport event here. But enough about that. For now, there's plenty of things I'd like to have in the building. The Channel 9 building. But in the center of Lamb, Bitterville? Ain't no way I'm going to get there. They got fed to the buyers. I mean, somebody's gotta be. Why not them? We better wrap this up quick. The fight's starting. Where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Your friends in the helicopter. No use to me, so they got fed to the fighters. Hey, you on the other hand, I think I can be used here. I know your story was bullshit. You just been walking around out this there all this time. Not fucking likely. You guns, your food, bullets, vehicles, tools, other weapons, the suits, all kinds of things. I mean, do you expect me to believe you just found those suits during your travels? You should just know you just kill us now. We don't have anything. For you, we found these suits on some dead bodies. That's how we've been surviving out there. There is no camp. There are no other other people. No other supplies. You walked here. That means wherever you came from is reasonably close. You're supposed to hear. That's right, sister. I don't believe a word of your story. Obviously, obviously you were right not to trust me. But I saw through your story immediately. No, you're close by here, somewhere at a warehouse, a school, a farm. I'll admit it, I don't know with the area all, all that well. I'm not from here, but I'm not stupid. Looks to me like your living situation is fine. What would you ever want from us? Everything. You're a good liar, but I'm just not buying it. You don't ha even have a bottle of water with you. I know where you know, there's more, and I know I'm going to be able to get all the information I need out of you. We're not going to tell you a fucking thing because there's nothing to tell. Hey! Oh, them! I don't think this motherfucker really is. That's how serious the situation is. Bruce, hold this one down for me. Dave, keep an eye on the other two. Yes, sir! Bruce, really strong. So resisting just a waste of time. Now, let's get this something straight. You're going to tell me why I want to know... I've got three of you, you, and I can do all kinds of nasty things to you in front of each other. One of you will talk. That's just how it works. I will get what I want. There is nothing you can do to prevent that. Do I make myself clear? How about now? 
Governor slashes Rick's arm off. Rick! Feeling left out, sister. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll... A Bruce! Grab her! Michonne! Bruce! I got her! Now, get her off of me! Joe starts biting the governor's ear off. Bitch, let go! Ugh! Ah! Fuck! I'm gonna break this little bitch's neck! You said the word, boss! No! Don't! Don't do a fucking thing to her! I don't- uh, I want this girl to get bruised. Bruce, that doesn't come from me. She'll suffer for what she's done. She'll wish she was dead. The things I'm gonna do to her, the pain I'm gonna cause her, this is gonna be fun. Fight's over when the crowd thins out. When they're gone, take the boy and lock him up. Put our piece of brown sugar in the room. Send someone up here to help me get our one-handed friend to the dock for he bleeds to death. What the hell is going on? That you have to drag me here this late? You better be dying or... Steven, shut the fuck up, please. We got a situation. Jesus, what happened to your ear? Never mind the ear. Stop this man's bleeding before he dies. Who is this man? I've never seen him before. Is this another victim of your goddamn arena fights? Who did this to him? You forgot the agreement. I get this little community fed, happy, and well supplied, and you don't ask any goddamn questions. He also left a blood. I can't choose close his wound pretty easily, but I'm going to have to go into the blood reserves to keep him alive. How do you send someone to get to Alice? I'm going to need some help with this. I'll send Alice down here, dance in a rubber ball if he wants. Use the blood, keep the generator going all night. I don't give a fuck. Keep this asshole alive. He's got something I want. I'm far through with him. Whatever you say, Mr. Governor, you're the boss. Right. Very cute, Steve. Ever been in anything close to beating it? Hmm. Wing has stopped. Work on this man. I'll be back in an hour or so, and you can bandage up what's left of my ear. And don't damage that on her either. That's mine. What has this monster done to you? You can see a shot of Glenn trapped inside the, his cell. He's crying. See a room inside Woodbury. A bunch of those zombies are eating some flesh. You see the governor's watching them. Sir! We can learn so much from them, you know, just by watching them. They've been at it all night. They just don't stop. They relent. Relentlessly. They eat until it's gone and then they're content. I always admire them. The thing you have to realize is that they're just us. They're no different. They want what they want. They take what they want. And after they get what they want, they're only content for the briefest span of time. They want more. What is it you want? Can't you see I'm busy? You wanted me to come and get you when the woman calmed down? She calmed down for the most part. Oh, then. What are we waiting for? I'm not telling you. I'm just not strong enough. There's nothing I can do. I'm trying, okay? Can't do it. I just can't break loose. The ropes are too tight. I can't. I'm sorry to interrupt. Don't let me interrupt. You seem to be having that spirited conversation with. I'm sorry. Who exactly were you talking to? Exactly. Never mind. I don't even care. Let's get this underway. Bruce, do me a favor. Take her pants off and tie her legs to the other the wall over there. And tie her other leg to the other wall over there. Don't struggle too much just yet, girl. You aren't going to want to save your energy. After you're done there, Bruce, leave us to it. We need the prophecy and shut the door on the way out. Tell me, girl, how long do you think it would take for me to ruin your life? Shatter your sense of security? Really fuck you up. I think a half an hour could probably do it. I really plan on doing this every day as often as I can until you figure out some way to kill yourself. This is gonna be fun. See Rick waking from his hospital bed. He stares down at his arm, which is now bandaged, but missing. And that is the end.